Hello, welcome to our Vincent Academy. Uh, we are discussing matters uh, in our surrounding, and this is the lecture number four. I hope you have already watched part one to part three before watching this part four. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the change of states of matter. Uh, we know uh, that uh, there are three states of matter uh, solid, liquid, and gas that we had discussed in the previous lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, whether one state of uh, matter can change to another state. That means it, it possible that solid can change into liquid and liquid can change into gases and vice versa as well. Yes, this is a possible and possibility is that when there is a rise of temperature, uh, this can be possible. So rise of temperature or even on vice versa, there is a uh, reduction of temperature that is cooling. Cooling can do it. From this uh, change of the states, we can change one substance, uh, form of substance that is one state of substance into another form. For example, uh, ice uh, you have seen in your uh, household fridge that uh, when you kept some water in the fridge and after some time, 3, 4 hours or 5 hours, it becomes solid structure. Water is a liquid, but ice cube becomes a solid. And uh, whenever this ice cube is uh, taken out from fridge and it is placed in a, a pot and at room temperature, after some time, it will become turned into water again. This is what happened that when uh, water become that is liquid become solid and solid become liquid. That is the one of the example which you have seen and observed in your house. Uh, itself but uh, how this can be possible and what happened that uh, room temperature if i am not providing room temperature but i uh, start heating the ice cubes uh, kept in pot and a beaker and then start heating then what will happen in that case uh, also if you start heating them uh, with a gas burner then uh, you'll find that after some time when temperature rises um, uh, uh, some temperature uh, gets by beaker, uh, then it is absorbed by beaker and in that case what will happen that ice turn into water completely. So it means when we provide some heat energy to the beaker then ice will be converted into ice will convert in form of uh, liquid that is solid state will change into liquid. Now uh, what is the temperature? question is at what temperature um, ice uh, become water so the answer is the temperature will not change the ice will be also at 0 degree centigrade and the water will be also when it will convert completely in form of water then also the temperature of that water will be 0 degree centigrade itself then the question comes in mind that if there is no change in temperature then what will, they, will happen to the heat what we have supplied to the ice this this is a question and uh, of course you need to know that what will happen when we supply some heat energy to the ice and the temperature of ice is not going to change it will remain the same then what is happened to the heat energy what we have supplied for example uh, uh, if you think in common sense that uh, if i'm uh, giving someone a 10 rupee note and if he will not take it then what will happen um, either it will be with me or someone else will take it away and then this is the only two possibility so either it will be with me or someone else if you will not take this 10 rupees note but someone else uh, uh, just pick up this and take it away then this is also possible so uh, the same thing here happened that the heat energy whatever we will supply it, uh, for turning uh, ice into water that heat energy is absorbed by beaker the particles of beaker and uh, that heat energy absorbed by particles of uh, um, beaker and uh, therefore uh, this heat energy because it was absorbed so this energy is a hidden heat so it is also that hidden heat is called latent heat right now so latent heat the latent means hidden hidden heat energy is required to convert uh, ice into water uh, this is what i wanted to uh, tell you and uh, latent heat of uh, fusion this is called latent heat of fusion and the amount of heat energy required to convert 
one kg ice in term form of water that is called latent heat of water latent heat of fusion for uh, ice into water or water so that latent heat is the amount of heat energy which is required amount of heat energy hidden heat energy which is required for uh, particles of beakers to change ice into water right now so this is what we are going to discuss today change of states so the thing is change of states change of states of matter change of states of matter states of matter right now this is what the topic i would like to discuss today and uh, in this topic we will discuss about the change of state it means a uh, solid substance can be changed in liquid and uh, liquid can be changed in form of gases and uh, also vice versa it is possible what will happen when we supply heat as i discuss uh, uh, right now that uh, when we supply some heat energy then uh, latent heat of energy uh, will turn them uh, ice into water but actually what is happened to the particles when this heat energy is supplied to the uh, ice actually uh, the as we have learned uh, in the previous lecture that there is a force of attraction or attraction force between or uh, there is a attraction between uh, uh, particles and these attraction for anything attract something if you want to attract something some force is to be applied that attraction is called force of attraction and these force of attraction need to be if you, there is two particles suppose two piece of magnet which are joined if you want to make it separate you have to apply some force and that force required for separation of these two items uh, two piece of magnets so similarly here there is a force of attraction between the particles and to us uh, make them separate from each other we need some force and some that force is form of energy and uh, that energy if we supply to it then that uh, particles will be separate from each other and they will be farther from each other they will have some space between the particles and whenever a space increases this is what the characteristics of liquid that liquid has more space in particles uh, as compared to solids so therefore when a space is increased intra space between the particles will increase then and the solid will become liquid and force of attraction between the particles will be lesser then solid will become liquid and similarly when a more weaker and more space is being created then what will happen if more energy is supplied and solid uh, uh, particles uh, come and uh, turn into liquid and when more force is applied more heat, uh, heat energy is supplied to it then what will happen they will be more farther and more farther they are more loosely packed and in that case liquid will turn into gases so this is what the the space basically the space you have learned that the space between the particles will determine whether they are solid or liquid or gas as we have learned that solid is closely packed liquid is lesser closely packed than solid and gas is very loosely packed than as compared to solid and liquid so a space increases and then it means force of attraction is weaker and force of attraction become weaker then they will be turned into one state from another state so solid will change in form of liquid and liquid will change in form of gas so this is the possibility in which we can deal with not only ice but other solids can also convert when temperature is given to it solid then it will become weaker and weaker and then what will happen the intramolecular space increases and in that case this will be in that case solid and then this will turn into liquid and liquid will turn into gases so this is what i would like to tell you just a minute solid will turn into liquid and liquid liquid and liquid it turn into gas so when temperature is supplied to it 
but that temperature will not increase so thing is basic thing is that when we supply temperature when we supply temperature when what we have learned just let it down note down when temperature is supplied temperature is given to solid then the heat energy heat energy taken by solid taken by solid will be used will be will use will heat energy taken by solid will use to weak weak the force of attraction force of attraction between the particles between the particles right and hence intra particle space particle space increases increases and substance will change its state state for right now this is what happened so in that case um, change its state the temperature one thing you need to remember the temperature when one substance uh, one a substance not one substance but when a substance when a substance changes its state its state then temperature of substance temperature of substance will not change will not change temperature of substance will not change remember this and heat energy if supplied it then solid will become liquid and liquid will become gaseous state liquid state to gaseous state and when we uh, decrease the temperature that is on cooling gaseous state become liquefied a gas will liquefied and become liquid and uh, liquid will become solid so uh, you can observe this also when uh, ice is heated then it will turn into water when further it is heated then it will turn into vapor and vapor is a gas again this vapor is uh, uh, suppose somewhere stored and it will be condensed then after some time it will turn into water again and this water is again more cool then more cool for making more cool and uh, release temperature from it we can put into fridge and you will find that this liquid water convert into ice and that is solid so these are uh, vice versa uh, uh, process which can be taken um, to change a state of one substance uh, into another uh, state. So heat is the basic thing. Cool is also a heating, uh, 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 heating temperature change, variation of temperature, whether it is heating or cooling. In both the cases, there is a variation of temperature. So the basically, a temperature can play a role, and what this temperature do that I already told you that the attraction, the force of attraction between the particles, they uh, break the force of attraction between the particles, and then uh, particles will get separated, and intra uh, particle space will increase, and therefore, as a result of which, uh, the basic nature that when a space increases, then a solid become liquid. And when more increases of a space in particles, then liquid become gases, and this will happen. So, uh, one thing uh, come in here in discussion that a latent heat. What is the latent heat? As we said that whenever heat is supplied to the body, temperature is not going to increase, but uh, to change 
from one state to another state temperature is required although this temperature is not uh, taken by the body but taken by the uh, beaker if you are uh, going to heat with uh, in ice in beaker then uh, this temperature is taken by uh, beaker and uh, the particles of beaker and uh, that is called latent heat of fusion and the process in which a solid become liquid that is called fusion so first thing i would like to write here that what is fusion fusion when solid becomes liquid in any process any process the process is called fusion the process is called fusion fusion right now fusion that when uh, solid become liquid that this is called fusion means whenever there is a <coughs> change of states from solid to liquid so what actually happened uh, when temperature of substance temperature of substance increases substance increases increases then kinetic energy kinetic energy of particles particles increases and particles vibrating vibrating at faster rate faster rate and with greater speed greater speed as result of which as result of which which after some time some time when it overcome it overcome the force of attraction the force of attraction between the particles between the particles particles the intra space between the particles the intra space that is space between particles simply the space between the particles increases the space between particles increases particles increases and as a result of which a result of which the substance substance changes its state from solid to liquid from solid to liquid or liquid to gas age liquid to gas age state right now liquid to gas is so matter liquid state to gas is state you can say or solid state to liquid state liquid state to gas is state a uh, state uh, that is the change of state you can write it like this solid state to liquid state to liquid state or liquid state to gas is state to gas is state right okay at certain temperature certain temperature particles leave their fixed position their fixed position and start moving and start moving then the solid 
start melting start melting right when they are in the interest put a space between the particles in free jet then what will happen then solid start melting because the space is in free jet then of course it will expand and when it will expand then that solid is turn into liquid but then melting and start melting and finally it will turn into liquid start melting and finally turn into when come and finally finally turn into liquid into liquid right so this is what is uh, the entire process is there but at temperature on which the solid start melting that is called melting point so another terms comes here that melting point so the melting point what is that melting point what is that try to understand the minimum temperature the minimum temperature temperature the minimum temperature at which solid turn completely into liquid into liquid at atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is called melting point melting point so melting point of ice the melting point of ice of an ice is 0 degree centigrade or 273.14 kelvin k for kelvin kelvin and c for centigrade these are the two different scale of temperature you have heard about right now there is one term that is coming here atmospheric pressure what is it atmospheric pressure that pressure of atmosphere the complete pressure of atmosphere uh, is called atmospheric pressure so how you can uh, check it there is a different phenomena in which we can observe this atmospheric pressure but if a liquid is placed in a pot or somewhere else and uh, a mercury thermometer is kept in that then you will find that 76 mm mercury will rise it means um, the 76 cm of mercury pressure is the atmospheric pressure or 760 mm instead of centimeter you know 1 cm is 10 mm so 760 mm of mercury pressure that is hg pressure symbol of mercury is hg is called atmospheric pressure so on that atmospheric pressure the minimum temperature which is required remember this temperature should be minimum not maximum the minimum temperature or at which start melting turn completely into liquid start melting but turn completely into liquid that temperature is called atmospheric uh, melting point that is called melting point so melting point is what melting point is nothing else but uh, this is a temperature minimum temperature which is required to change substance from solid to liquid you know so this is what the melting point i hope you got it right now so this is what the melting point okay